Welcome back. <laughs> I made a table. Well, I didn't make it. I set up a table so I can actually do this printing not on the floor. Save my back. So yeah, Woo! my back is happy. I have, it's really nice to have this table now because like it's in my back it was killing. It was brutal doing it on the floor. Plus tiles are cold. Um, this is so nice and I get to set up all my stuff so it's not just scattered everywhere. Uh, beside me over here is a little day bed where my girly girl likes to sit and play on her iPad. It said read, but kids don't seem to read these days. Um, underneath the table is where the cats hang out. It's all cozy. I've got a little uh, blanket under there. Actually, the blanket's in the wash. So what you're seeing now is uh, beds, probably more comfortable. And I got my plant, Fernando and some printing bits on the wall that you can see like examples. So I was doing some printing, I don't know, a few weeks ago and I had an idea because I wanted to get some stencils or try some different types of marks. So I thought, well, why wouldn't the glue gun work, right? To make stencils. And it did, you can't really see these, eh? Let's see hard to see it's a little circle but it worked and it's pretty cool I thought why not do a video on how to make these and what to do so that's what I did and that was a couple weeks ago and the only reason I'm telling you it was a couple weeks ago I filmed that part is because today is gorgeous it is it's so nice outside it's warm I was actually outside because I was cleaning the windows that's why there's so much light coming through here right now because it's sparkling clean and I didn't put the screen back on yet but the I actually got hot I actually got hot out there and that's shocking so anyway la, 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 la. the two weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago when I filmed the making the stencils it started to snow so that's shocking two weeks major difference anyway yeah it's uh it's a beaut today so, and what I, what I love about mono printing and jelly plate printing and all that is how imperfect it is because I don't know, and you only get the one, right? So you get the one chance, but the imperfection in it is so pretty to me and you never know what you get. So the mystery and the unknown, I kind of like that bit too. So I did this with some trees, trees, I took an entire tree and laid it on here, some leaves, Oh yeah, and there's some shiny on there, but it's so nice. The marks down here that you get from the plate, the grungy plate, I just love it. So, and I really like to embrace the imperfection and uh, the not knowing, right? What I use was, this isn't, ink, it's acrylic is what I'm using. So that's what you'll see in the video too is acrylic paint. And it's a heavy body paint because all my fluid paints are in storage right now. But you can use those as well. Uh, we've got heavy bodied paint on just regular old paper. So you can do it on watercolor, heavier paper, anything. But in this video, I'm just using copy paper and acrylic paint. Let's see. That's what I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention how uh, the weather in the video, I mentioned snow. So, but today it's much nicer. Uh, embrace imperfection, embrace it. I love imperfection. Imperfection is perfection to me. And I hope you enjoy the video and it's fun. If you have any questions, always uh, feel free to leave comments or questions down below and we can chat down there. I'm babbling. So let's get into it. Let's make some glue gun stencils and have some fun. Okay. Mwah. All right. We're making stencils, glue gun stencils. I have a little mini glue gun, but uh, so I'm going to have to refill it a lot more often, but hopefully uh, you have a much bigger one. 
the glue gun, the glue gun sticks. There we go. Will last longer. So let's start off with a piece of parchment paper, not wax paper. I tried it with wax paper and they stick. So we're going to need parchment paper because they'll peel off. So I'll go grab some of that. Here we are. Let's lay that out. The old tea. Scissors. Okay. Just got a nice little spread here. Friggin' tea is still in the way. There we go. Get it nice and flat. What you could also do, I thought of this after I made some, was if you wanted to test your uh, skills, glue gunning skills, you could put a picture underneath and trace it, right? That could work, but um, as you'll see, the glue gun is kind of, well, you know, you can't really control it like you could with a pen or anything like that. So you're going to get blobs and everything, but that's part of the fun. That's w what makes the stencils fun is they're imperfect. So here, I'll show you some that I made, some that I baked earlier. Circles. And sometimes I leave, you know, glue gun, you get those little obnoxious strings that get everywhere. They stick, they're like cobwebs, bloody annoying. Well, sometimes I leave them on because it could create a nice fine line within there. You never know, right? Everything with gel printing is an experiment and you never know how it's going to turn out. That's part of the fun. So anyways, a couple of little circles, bigger circle. And I have found the bigger the shape, the better. Or the bigger the design you're making, the better. So you get a better print. And of course, I love stars. So there's some wonky little star. But yeah, so let's make some. Um, and once again, parchment, not wax. Something that they will peel off of easily. Uh, again, you can use, um, not again, I guess I didn't mention that before, but silicone, right? I have this silicone mat that the glue gun rests on and it comes off there real easy i mean there's some on here right now super easy dollar store you can get those there but okay here we go let's get into it let's make some fun stemples stemples let's make some fun stencils let's make some fun stencils see if i can get any cat hair off of here can't really see it but i know it's there it's always there here we go i'm gonna make sure i have some lots of glue sticks on the ready as this thing goes through them like water. We're gonna do a little test. Are you ready, guy? Ooh, nice and hot. It, it doesn't take very long at all to dry, which is fab. If you want just something really fun and free, just a squirt, a squiggle, like a scribble. Oh, and you, see, look at that. I already need a little refill in there. You're also gonna wanna make sure your lines are pretty thick. Otherwise, it'll just kind of bend and break could break. So I'm gonna have to go back over this, but again, I don't care how it turns out because it's just abstract. It's just an organic thing, but those are very thin. So let's go over that. This thing is so stiff. I'm getting a massive index finger workout here. Let's see, come on. Swirl. See, here we go. Those cobwebs. Oh my god. Let's see if this guy, I could pick that guy. See how easy that came up. So, hey, I could use that, right? A little piece, but I'm not going to. Do some more stars. So you can see you're going to get imperfect shapes. That's what we're going for is imperfection. A little star here. Some kind of scribble. Let's make a few, let them cool, and peel them off. Here we go. I'm gonna time warp this one. You're gonna want to make sure all your lines are attached to, right? So it's kind of fun because you can do these types of contour drawings where like you never take your pen or pencil off the page. Same thing with the glue. Just keep, I mean, you can move, there we go. But you wanna keep, make sure everything's attached. Otherwise it's not much of a stencil, is it? Okay, 
with your face. Okay, so there's a few. I gotta give that finger a rest. Woo! Uh, we're gonna let this dry, and then once they're dry, I'll peel them off, and we'll uh, we'll do some printing with them. Okay, so these bad boys are nice and dried and cooled, rather. So they just come up super easy. Let's see this scribbly one, how that comes up, because there were some thin ones. Some thin bits. So here's a bunch of that cobwebby stuff. But it should be okay. I mean, it should work. It's not falling apart. This could rip easy, but they're not really meant to last forever, are they? Here's one with more thin. I really like to try the thin to see. Another scribbly one. Star leaf thing. Whatever this is, a tooth, <laughs> a moon, or a fortune cookie, or I don't know, scribble, some little cat or fox or animal. You know. Okay, so we have a bunch of these. Let's see how they look on the plate. Okay, there. Uh, let's put that there for cleaning my brayer off and I made some backgrounds or just have some scrap backgrounds from cleaning my brayer that we will try these um, stencils on. So which is just kind of neutral, actually springy. Look, springy colors. You can find them definitely getting into my palette of choice, getting nice soft colors going. Aside from that one, that's kind of autumnal, but whatever. A lot of nice little spring vibes. And I mentioned doing those, uh, like a contour type drawing. So I did have, I did make some of those little faces. Let's see, let's get, who's that autumn guy? Nice and dark to see as a background. So I made some faces and we'll see how they look printed out. There's that kind of like a Picasso-y style, eyes all over the place. Tried that one with hair. This one has ears, no hair. And then this one has no hair and no ears. Because the idea, I guess I had, is to embellish after. You do the print and then you can paint or draw or collage, whatever. Um, and just have a base face base okay so let's try those as well as the ones that we made together A little scribble guy okay let's start with this I'm gonna print and we'll do this and we'll do the nice kind of uh, red violet color okay that looks pretty good wait a second here so we're gonna do two i'll do the print and then the ghost print to show you with both of them so i'm just gonna slide those over there so the first one we're just gonna get a little oh oh yeah so satisfying to peel that off it's my daughter's favorite part just a bit you don't need too much paint if it's too slippery, you know you've got too much paint. Okay, I got two brayers. Get that guy out of the way. You kind of want to be able to see through the paint. I mean, it's and this is a translucent paint, but you want to be able to sort of see the plate through. I'm not going to be too precious about the uh, just the lines here. Let's try the scribbles. We're gonna get these guys in. Lay that one down. And I'm lying the flat side down. You kind of see, I mean, the side that you created is shinier and has more bumps, but the more matte, dull side, flat, because it won't leave marks in your, it won't dent your, uh, your plate, your jelly plate. So here we go. 
we've got this. Let's take this. And this, we can print this way, okay? Swish it down. And so you're gonna have to feel, because you can't see through this paper. You could always do it on tissue paper if you want a little more delicate paper and you can see through it, rice paper. And you'll be able to see your stencil through it and the paint coming up. But in this case, I'm just feeling around for the bumps, the holes, the gaps. You can pull it up, take a little peek. See, I might want some more picked up in here. See what's happening on this side. Uh, yeah, definitely pick some more up here. All right, let's see how she turned it. Okay. There's our scribbles. I love that bit. Okay, now let's pull them before everything dries. Pull them up. And we'll do the ghost print. I tend to like the ghost print the best. Don't know why, I just really like. This is where you're gonna really see uh, texture more. Let's see here, you've got it's more solid, right? But you're gonna see the bumps in the glue and the spaces, you'll see. Here we go. I'll give a little massage. And pull. There we go. See what I mean? It's more textural, kind of. I don't know how to describe it, almost like hollow through here, outlines. It's really neat. Again, ooh, I really like this piece. It's so simple, but definitely my fave. So here we go, the print, print, ghost print. So that little scribble worked out kind of neat, just for fun background shapes. Let's try another one. Okay, I'll use these ones, and maybe a Marine. My plate is getting pretty gunky here, but I like, I mean, especially when you're making backgrounds, I like a, a dirty plate. <laughs> the, uh, you get more textures that way. I'll do just kind of a mixture of some of those smaller shapes. I think I need more paint on there too. We'll do some of those stars and circles and things. Again, not going to be too precious about getting rid of lines here. So this, the roller, where you clean the brayer off, that's nice for, it's great background pages or for even doing prints on. Here we go, you know what, we'll get the little fortune cookie moon in here. Leaf. Scribble. Little uh, cat or fox. And what do we have room for? Another scribble. Be the print, the first print. So if you have too much paint, you will notice these stencils slide around. You don't want too much paint. So your images won't come out very clear. Do a little test. Okay, that guy needs more up. Alright. Definitely more in the moon and the leaf. Get there. So it can be a little hard to get in if you have delicate. That's why a bit bigger is better. Especially for the ghost print. 
Um, here we go. Let's just pull it out and see. Okay. So this is definitely going to be better as a ghost print. I mean, better is relative, right? But I like in this print, it's really neat because you can see through. So if you make a lot of a nice textured background, you will see all of these come through, all the layers come through your stencil, which is fantastic. Here, hang on, let me show you one. I'm gonna grab one. Okay, like this. So here I did those stencils again, but you get a lot coming through. So I don't know why I showed you that right now, because this is drying. They dry fast. So let's pull them up so we can get our ghost. Try and get it up carefully so I don't smudge it too much. But again, imperfection is what we're going for. So I don't really care if I smudge it too much. Right. A little massage. Love this part. It's so soft, squishy. You know what? I'm going to take this and pick up some of that on the edge. better different that's how we look at things they're not better they're different very different you can do so many different things with each of those sorry i'm holding that poorly so there's those guys and since you can still see them on here squeeze a little white Not as satisfying as before because it's more wet, squishy. Just put a little white down and recap. Oops, got a little my spider plant there. As you can see, oh, it's wrapped around the brayer. Fabulous. As you can see, I've used this to print with. So let's just throw it on there and I'll use the back of one of these. I'm just cleaning the plate anyway. Might as well get a fun pattern on it. I can use this as who knows what. There we go. Get that up. background so we can pick that up and see it. Probably see some of those stencils. Yet another ghosting of those stencils. Here we go. And there's the spider plant too. And there's a little bit of the stencils. You can see the blue. But see that filthy edge on my plate? Oh, it's delicious. I love it. The texture. Oh, the colors. Sometimes I'm happier with that than the result of the actual print. But I like that. It creates a nice border. Okay. So now I gotta pick up the ghost of that. Hang on. Let's do that. And that's how fast it dries. So we do have a little spider plant there, but you know what? We're gonna play. And we're gonna see how it looks when we use our stencils. Now I'm dying to see one of the faces, so we'll do that, uh, we'll do some black on these two backgrounds. We'll do all three. Not on the same plate, I don't think they'll all fit. Let's see, already right, that's too much paint, I can tell because it's so slippery. Some paints I find take a little bit more you have to squeeze onto the plate and some paints like this it's just the uh, Amsterdam black acrylic Woo! it does not take much at all I definitely used too much okay who are we gonna try dangly nose so I didn't attach it on purpose because I wanted to see how it looked with the space but I mean it is all attached on there but it's a little dangly you on there. 
and we'll try this guy, sideway glance. Take a little boo. You need more up. So that's hard to get into the eye. Not hard, just challenging, time consuming. The reason I'm not pulling it up completely to have a look is because I'll never get it laid back down in the exact same spot. So you just have to do little corners. But we'll see now. Here they are. And there's another idea of how it, the background comes through when you do a solid color. It looks, it looks really cool. Quite like that one. these dudes up. Check over there. And voila. Pretty neat. And again, you can embellish. Do whatever you want. Collage it. Use it like this. Kind of like it just like that. We gotta try that other face, don't we? Oh god, it is snowing outside. We just saw big old snowflakes coming down mixed with rain. Okay, I just did a little quick cleaning of that to get some of the uh, print up, but I can still see them in there, so we are gonna see how that. We're gonna see how that looks when we get the other face on there. Definitely has that little Picasso flair. Okay, as an extra added little cool thing, I'm gonna show you how to clean the plate if you wanna get this junk off, or eventually you're gonna to need to get this junk off because it'll get so thick. But tape gun, or well, packing tape anyway, you don't need the gun. But okay, plug your ears because we all know how loud and aggressive this sound is. There we go. Just lay it on your plate, pat it down. I'll cover the whole thing, but uh, I'll mute it, okay, so you don't have to hear this horrifying noise. Okay, there we go. Whew, your ears are lucky. My ears hate that sound. So just rub it down. Now, I do have to admit, the thing I don't like about this technique is uh, the waste. And I don't like using this packing tape and throwing it out. But if you've got really dried on stuff, this works really well. The face, I probably could, could have got off with a baby wipe because it was fresher paint. Some of this stuff's pretty old. So we're going to pull. Look at that. You can even have a print there. You could use this as a transparency. Put it on a journal page or anywhere. You should see the snowflakes coming down right now. Seriously, I thought it was spring. Oh, they're huge. I mean, I kind of like it, but they're huge. Very heavy, a lot of rain. Okay, anyway, I digress. Sorry, I keep throwing this out and wasting. But look at that, nice and clean. Nice and clean, except for that little crusty edge, but whatever. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna shift that out of the way. That. And we'll just see what we got today. Of our faces. 
So you can do anything with these papers, right? Use them in journaling, collage, rip them up. A ton of different things you could do. There we are. So we have both different uh, styles of prints here, the original and the ghost. Let me know below what your favorite is. What do you prefer? Do you like the original print? Or do you prefer the ghost print? Less paint on the outside. Original, ghost. Original, ghost. The ghost just seems to have more definition, but it depends on your style, what you want to do. And then we have our scribbles. It's actually kind of neat if you turn it the other way to me. I actually prefer in these ones, I prefer the uh, the first print to the ghost print. I like this one better. We got some good papers here. Okay, come with me for a sec. I'll show you this. Oh, I can't get the door open. Yeah. Ooh, winter's back. All right. I hope that was inspiring and fun. So the faces were fun. The faces were really fun to do. And I'm trying to think of some fun ways to make more. Like I'm going to do some prints and then embellish them. Like I mentioned, put some hair on them or whatever. I don't know. Human bodies, magazine cutouts, collage it. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it was inspiring. Maybe you want to play with the jelly plate now and the glue gun. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. So beautiful out here. Mmm. Oh. Uh, God. Not that bit. Jesus, that bit was harsh. I don't know where this wind came from. Ooh, there's pine needles landing on me. Oh my God. Dorothy Gale Force winds out here. There must be treasure in the clouds because look. Sky Pirates.